Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and this video is not really about yarn. Uh, so if that's what you're hoping for, I'm sorry. Uh, you can look at the yarn behind me. Um, but what I was going to do is just do a, like a completed like book review. I'd mentioned to you guys that I was reading this book a while ago, and um, I just read all four in the series, so I thought I would talk a little bit about it and um, put some links in the description if you were interested. So I, if you know... Um, have just started reading again. I used to be an avid reader, but then I had kids and that was hard for me to read. And um, then after having kids and teaching, I was reading to work. But anyway, the last couple of years, I want to say with the bring with the on bringing of Outlander um, and Bridgerton, and uh, I started reading the Love Softly series again. And what else did I start reading? I don't know. Anyway, I was starting to peel through the books. I mean, to be honest, in the last year, year and a half, I read more books than I did in the previous 10. Oh, polygamy. I was reading books about polygamy. I don't know. It just, it shocks me. I just can't get enough of it. I don't know. I don't want to be a polygamist, nothing personal or whatever. I just am shocked by it. So anyway, I was at school and I was talking about how I ran out of the Love Softly books, Love Comes Softly books. I know quite a few of you have so kindly mentioned about this website where you can order used books online. Um, typically, I'm really, I mean, I do order from Amazon a lot, um, but I just like to go to the store, buy a book and have it. And so I've been buying most of my love series from Goodwill, which has been fine. It keeps me from buying too many because then I went on that uh, website and I was like filling my cart and 20 books later. But anyway, um, a mother who also substitutes um, at our school came to me and said, hey, I wanted to uh, recommend these books. She's like, I don't want you to feel like you had to buy them. So she's like, I'm going to, you know, here, here are all these books. So here is the complete series of these books. I'm going to tell you them in order, and then I'm going to tell you a little about each book. I got to find the first one. The first one is called To Bring You Back. Okay. The second book is, if I can see it. I should have had them in order. Here it is, <laughs> To Belong Together. The third book is To Begin Again. And the final book of this series is To Believe in You. Now, I read the first book, and so all four of these guys, this, don't they look beautiful together? These are about four guys who um, are gonna fall in love. Hmm. Um, each of these guys or are involved in a band called Awestruck. Now, she doesn't say too much about the band. They're a popular band. They're a secular band. And, um, I mean, I don't, I never even bothered to research if that's, there's really a band similar to that. I don't know. It could be purely fiction. And they move from California to go back to the hometown of the, the guy, the man in this book, Gannon. He goes back because he used to date this girl where he dated her, kissed her, some kind of shenanigans in high school. And he goes back to reconnect with her. Now, I'm going to tell you what, at the beginning, I didn't really like the girl in this book. I thought she was just, I thought she was just plain old being mean. Okay, so the, the, Gannon is the lead singer. He's super rich. He goes to get back together with this girl and then ends up moving the whole band to Wisconsin. What? Yeah, I know. And I live in Wisconsin. Um, and they often talk about going to the Fox Valley, which is where I live, the Fox Valley. Okay, so that's Gannon's first book. The second book is about the drummer. Uh, Gannon plays the guitar and sings lead. And it's John, and John meets up with this gal who is a mechanic. Um, and they have a little bit of a, you know, I don't want to say argument, but they, it's not love first sight. No, no, no. They're a they're chatting it out. They're arguing and whatnot. Um, so, and you get to learn a bit about Aaron's life and John and their story is in this book. But they don't get married in this book. Okay. The third book is about Philip. Now, this is confusing. The first bass guitarist, if I remember, died. He committed suicide which Gannon was really upset about, the book guy in book one, because it was like his good buddy from high school. Him and John and that the guy that committed suicide were all good friends in high school. So Philip takes 
No, actually, I want to say a guy named Matt takes the other guy's place when he passes away. But Matt has some problems that is talked about in books one and two. Um, he, he becomes a drug addict. Um, and he ends up having to quit. And then Philip takes a place, which is weird because Philip is book three. And Philip, he starts uh, meeting this, this gal who here's on the cover. She is also a singer, a celebrity. She's like a regular girl that went on one of those singing shows and Gannon is like a judge, you know, like, like the voice, but they didn't call it that. And Gannon's a judge on this show and he, he ends up, they, what's that called when two singers do a duet or some kind of, there was a word for it. They end up singing a song together and then she goes on a couple concerts with them to sing the song with them, a collaboration. That's what it is. And so Philip, Philip has a tough go on this, you guys, because Philip is a widower. Yeah, he's a young guy. He hadn't been married and his wife died and he had two little kids and he auditioned for the band and he's having to have nannies and whatnot. Well, as you can see, he likes that girl. So that's their story. Now, that was my favorite. When I read this book, I could not put it down. These other two were, eh, they were good. They weren't terrible. They weren't amazing. They were just good. Yeah, I liked them. I read the next story, right? But this one, like, I was like, oh my goodness, I love it. I really loved it. And so this book um, I read, I started on a Friday and finished it Saturday. I read Friday into the night, woke up in the morning, read it all day. Yeah, that's probably why I wasn't knitting, right? Um, so I loved this book. Now, the weird thing about this is Philip ends up having, he ends up having some drug problems too, y'all. And so he's getting jealous or whatever because the guy in book four, Matt, who was the bassist in book one and two, and he had a drug problem, he had to run off and go to therapy, drug therapy and what's that called? Not therapy, but it's called rehab. Okay, so while Philip is in the band loving this gal and doing their thing, uh, Matt is in rehab. Well, then Philip decides to leave the band and I'm not gonna tell you why. And it's not going to be a surprise. That's I'm not ruining it. You, there's business going on there. Matt has started to put his life together. And this story is about Matt putting his life together. Oh, boy. It is so good. Actually, some part in there made me mad. And I was feeling upset. But it's okay how it ended. So these are the four. Now, this author, oh, her name is Emily Conrad. And this is her Rhythms of Redemption Romance. Okay, you guys, now let's talk about the details. I told you the overall story of these four guys. This is slightly romance. Now, it's by no means a Bridgerton. There is no, like, sexy scenes in here. It's just they're, they're falling in love. They're excited to be with each other. Few kisses here and there. Nothing crazy town, okay? So you're not going to be embarrassed to read it. You know how you're feeling when you're reading a part, and then you're like, well, mm. Does anybody know what I'm reading? Okay, none of that business. Also, they are Christian based. These characters, these people, characters, they go to church. They talk about God in their life, kind of like how I talk about God in my life and how, you know, I want you to pray for me and how God helped me with this and I saw this and this was the miracle in my life. Okay, so they are Christian people. Now, do I think it's in your face? I don't know. I mean, maybe if you're not very religious, you would feel like this is in your face. But because I tend to work at a Christian school and I go to church regularly and most of my family is Christian, to me, it doesn't feel, it just feels natural. But I could very, I could see that if that is not part of your daily life, that it might feel in your face. But for me, it's very natural. So I really did like that. And then the other thing is just a story, you know. There's nothing, there's not like a, a lot of drama. There's not a lot of like uh, things you need to know to be able to understand it. It's just a simple story, something to read and relax. If you're going on an airplane, you're going on a vacation, you just want to read a book. I was able to read these back two books in like a weekend, a Friday and finish it by a Sunday. So they're not heavy. They're not, there's not a lot of really and I hate to sound dumb about this, but there's not a lot of big words, you know, it's just a simple story. So I really liked them. Um, like I said, I like the last two better. And I don't know, maybe it's just I like the characters better. Maybe because those stories were a little deeper. Whereas the first two were just kind of, I think, 
surface stories, but I, I think three and four, she really got into some character and um, yeah, I really liked them. Now she also, one of the things that's in all four of these books is in the town that these people live in, which I think she says is Lakeshore, which I haven't even double checked to see if that's a real town because this is up by Lake Superior. I live in the area of Wisconsin by Lake Michigan. That's our main lake of the Great Lakes. So Lake Superior is area around there is foreign to me. I don't really stray from my area. So I don't even know if Lakeshore is real, but what was I saying about that? Oh, in the area that this is, there's a hot dog stand guy. His name is Tim, I think. Um, the main character in this book, who I really didn't love, I think her name's Adeline. She works for that guy, and in all the other books, he pops up. She actually has an online book that she wrote for him that I think I really would have liked it if she would have made it a real book. And so I think she start, she's calling them novelas, like little short, short mini stories. So I'll put the link in the description to purchase these if you want them off of Amazon. She does sell them on Amazon. Their price fluctuates, just like anything on Amazon. Sometimes they're 15% off, sometimes the regular price. But I did enjoy reading them. If you're interested in a light book with little, with just a nice, interesting read um, that's Christian based, you know, this is nice. It really was. So I'm going to give these back tomorrow to the mom that let me read them. And then I'm going to give her a gift card um, just because I really was very appreciative of her lending me these books. And I liked them. So I'll put whatever information I have in the description box below about these books. Let me, and I'm gonna read you these things here. Um, this is the one that's to believe in you. Let me look at them. Oh, there's bookmarks to go with each of these books. Um, they don't have the first one. To belong together. You can love sacrificially because no one... Because no rejection will change that you're a child of God. Every other role comes and goes, but not that. And then for the, to begin again, this is Philip's story. I'm not enough, but God is. And from now on, he gets to show how strong he is through my weaknesses. And then in Matt's story, it says, God's grace works no matter what kind of baggage you bring to the foot of the cross. Um, so I mean, she just shared me those with me. Okay, you guys, so that's kind of like my book review. I don't know what I'm going to start reading now. Maybe finish the Outlander books because I do have the half of that series to read. Or um, I might go back to, there's another gal that was writing books. I forgot her name off the top of my head. Redeeming Love was the one I read from her. But anyway, um, yeah, check out this gal. Now, what I'm going to tell you is that she's not a big time author. She's just a local Wisconsin gal. I think she lives in Fox Valley. Um, so when you're buying her books and reading her books, you're supporting, you know, a, a small business, if you will. Is that called a business when you're an author? I don't know. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting or happy reading. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>